welcome all today we will discuss the answers to graded assignment 1 so the first question is the human brain plays a significant role in the acquisition of language option a true option b false the right answer is option a true because the language that we hear in the form of input it goes to the brain the brain processes it and then gives it back as output and this output is a language that we speak the second question is a strong foundation in mother tongue aids second language learning option a true option b false the right answer is option a true well we have discussed this at length in one of the modules all researchers have shown i should say almost all researchers have shown that a strong foundation in mother tongue helps in learning and using second language second languages fluently the third question is there are 40 distinct sounds in english language option a true option b false the right answer is option b false because there are 44 sounds in english language question number 4 the first sound in the word university is a vowel option a true option b false the right answer is option b because the first vowel is not the letter u that you see in the word university the first sound is y university you don't say university it's university therefore it is y sound um which is a consonant so it is not a vowel and the first vowel sound is e in the word university that is university uni so that e is the first vowel sound fifth question is the vowel sound in the word class is a short vowel option a true option b false the right answer is option b false the right answer is option b false because try pronouncing class you don't say class right you say class so the vowel sound there is a and it's the long vowel a it's class it's not class therefore the answer is a long vowel because of which we choose the answer as false the more the input in language the better the output which is vocabulary and fluency option a true option b false the right answer is option a true um this is a very basic mantra of language learning the more you expose yourself to a language the better you get at that language and better will be your output or uh, you know your fluency in fluency in the language Seventh question is the phrase "hang on" in the context of telephonic conversations means to wait. Option A true, option B false. The right answer is option A true. When you say "hang on," particularly in the context of telephonic conversation, it actually means please wait. The next question is in a formal call, the use of phrase "what's up" should be refrained. Option A true, option B false. The right answer is. option a true in a formal call you should refrain from using the word whatsapp because whatsapp is generally used among friends and uh, or family members whom you are very close to um it should be used in a very informal context and not a formal call ninth question geeta while speaking to mary on phone hears vibrating noise choose the best appropriate sentence that geeta should use to convey this problem option a your voice is echoing option b your voice is jarring option c you have to speak up option d you are not audible the right answer is your voice is jarring jarring is a word that you use when you hear a vibrating noise and jarring is different from echoing or you know um the the tone being low okay so the right answer is your voice is jarring the phrase this is 10th question the phrase pick up in the context of telephonic conversation means to answer 
the call. Option A true, option B false, the right answer is option A true. When you say you pick up a call, it means you answer the call. So with that we come to the end of this. If you have any doubts, please uh, post your queries in the discussion forum and we will be more than happy to answer your queries. Thank you.